This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 SRG4600 Surface Roughness Tester. The SRG4600 is an instrument designed to check surface finish with measured values displayed on a digital readout in various surface roughness parameters. Note the SRG4600 is an extremely sensitive instrument and should be treated with care to assure measurement accuracy and reliable performance. The technology used incorporates a skid type instrument in which a diamond stylus is automatically traversed against the specimen and a piezoelectric pickup records all vertical movement. Peaks and valleys are recorded and converted into a known value of a given parameter. Parameters differ in how they look at peaks and valleys. The most popular parameter is RA, which is commonly defined as the arithmetic average roughness. There are certain criteria that need to be met in order to operate the SRG4600. You may look into the detailed specifications that are published either in our catalog, website, or operation manual for more specific information. As you can see, the SRG4600 is a handheld battery-powered instrument with graphic display and controls on top and an extended stylus which will retract and extract upon taking surface roughness samples automatically. To begin, install the leveling bracket onto the back of the unit with two screws. Then insert the stylus that is supplied in a separate container for optimum protection. Make certain to line up the plug and press easily into the socket. Remove the calibration standard from its case and make sure there are no foreign objects on the surface before testing. Power on the unit from the rear of the unit. The main interface screen should be displayed. Each indicator on the screen has a purpose. We will go over in detail the meaning of each and how to make any changes if necessary. Let's begin with leveling. Position the tester on the supplied standard sample or your workpiece to be tested. Press the enter button on the bottom right and the leveling indicator showing the pickup position will appear on the display. Using the supplied height adjusters on the rear of the unit, raise or lower the slide until the arrow falls on or close to zero in the center of the indicating level. Press the button to return back to the test screen. The level key can also act as an enter key at times. The LM button will bring you to the settings interface screen. Press the LM button once and you'll be brought to a quick setup screen. The up and down arrow buttons will take you through various parameter settings, while the left right arrows will allow you to toggle within a given setting. From the quick menu screen, we could change the cutoff length, which is the sampling length of the test, the correct value of which is determined by approximate surface roughness. This can be referenced in a chart in the operational manual showing various ranges. Second, we can change the traverse length setting which is the amount of consecutive cutoff lengths to be evaluated in a given test. We can then change the range of test. We can also change the standard. We can change the filter. RC is default. And pressing the LM button once will bring you quickly back to the main test screen. Hold down the LM button for about three seconds, and this will bring you to a secondary menu screen. Scroll up and down the list using up and down arrows. Once on a parameter, press the level key, and you can enter the toggle between choices for each function. Once the selection is made, press the LM button to return back to the main menu. Here you can enter measure setting functions which control testing parameters and functions, printing, calibration, memory data, language, and system setup, which controls sound, power, and Bluetooth pairing. Once you have all parameter settings complete, 
Let's demonstrate how to perform taking a test. Place the unit to test the supplied calibrated reference sample. Check the stylus level to make certain you are in zero range. Once back to the main measurement screen, press the start button to start the test. The value will show on screen in the roughness parameter you have chosen. To view the results in profile, press the left arrow button. While on this screen, press the level button to zoom in. To view results in the ratio curve, press the down arrow button. To exit, press the LM button. To save the data after taking a test, press the memory button. While save is highlighted, press the level button twice to save. Once saved, you will be brought back automatically to the measurement screen. Should you not wish to save the data, press the LM button to bring you back. To view data in other parameters, press the R button and use arrows to scroll. Press the LM button to exit. Let's quickly review the calibration procedure. Take a test. And if the value doesn't fall within tolerance of the reference sample, calibration is needed for correction. Press the menu button for three seconds, then scroll to calibration. Press the level button, using the arrows to choose the closest value of test, in this case it will be 40 micron. Use the left or right arrows to scroll plus or minus percentage value of reading. Press the level button twice to save. Then press the LM button to return to the measurement screen that completes the calibration procedure. The SRG4600 has an optional fixturing stand. The unit attaches to the stand using two screws on the right side of the unit under the height adjusters. Fixture adapters for height gauges and magnetic bases are also available. Don't forget to keep the stylus well protected. The 5 micron diamond tip is extremely delicate. Always keep the work parts or reference samples being tested free of dust, oil, or other debris. To clean the skin surface, use a damp cloth moistened with rubbing alcohol. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 SRG4600 Surface Roughness Tester. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.